All right, dudes. Uh, I call myself Phil the SAT Dude on uh, YouTube, so always make sure that uh, I can be seen, you know, because this is very important you know, to me. All right, what we're going to go over today is this handout that uh, I'll put a little thing on YouTube where you can hit my website and download it. And it's just the vocabulary of math that's on the SAT. And for those who are interested, I'm also going to be doing this for the GMAT as well. All numbers on the SAT, first off, is, are, first off, are real. What's a real number? Who knows what a real number is? One. A real number is one. One is a real number. Real numbers, by definition, obviously, I'd like you to fill these in, OK? Oh, they're on different pages. We didn't put them. I didn't put page numbers on this. That's good. That'll work out well. Yes, you don't have to use a wooden pencil for uh, these lessons. Okay. So a real number is any number on the number line. Rational, irrational, whole, integer, counting, but not imaginary. The square root of negative one is not on the number line but the square root of two is. You just can't ever find its decimal place, all right? A rational number. A rational number is very important because a rational number can be expressed as a ratio. That's where they get the word from. So. A rational number can be expressed as a fraction or a ratio, two integers, one over the other. Expressed as a decimal, a rational number is a terminating decimal or a repeating decimal. So 0.125, or if it repeats, like 1 over 3, where you get 0.333. That's a rational number. An irrational number is a decimal that never repeats and therefore it cannot be expressed as a fraction or a terminating decimal. Examples of rational numbers on the SAT and the GMAT, the three biggest ones are pi, the square root of two, and the square root of three. Those are numbers that never end as decimals. Therefore, most of the times that you see these on the SAT, they're just written as the root or a pi. If they do ask you to solve for something like uh, where there is a number that includes an irrational number, they'll typically put uh, this on here. Well, that's good. I have to work that one out. And let's say it's 6 pi, but then it'll say approximately. And they do approximately whatever this is, 18 point something, something, something. All right, kill that. 